Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to print event number from 1 to 100. So, if you don't know what is odd and even, then please watch this tutorial. So, basically, what is even number? Any number. Suppose your input is 2. If you are going to divide by 2, what will be happen? You will get remainder as a 0. That means it is a even number. But if you take input as a 3 and if you are going to divide it by 2, you will always get 1 as a remainder. That means it is not even number, it is called odd number. So if you want to print from 1 to 100, okay, in between how many even number is there? So first of all, we have to see like, okay, it is going from 1 to 100. That means we need a loop. So we are going to use here for loop. So we have to start from what? I as a 1 then we have to go till where i less than equal to 100 correct now what is happening we have to go from 1 to 100 that means here i plus plus that is called increment correct now we need to print what like 2 4 6 this is called even number so, but how our code will be no like okay we have to print only even number so what we can do we can use here if condition in the if condition we can just say like okay i i means our input like when it is going from i as a one two three four like if it is divisible of two that means modulus of two will become as a zero that means if any input we are going to divide it by two and whose remainder is zero then it will satisfy the condition and here we are going to print the i value correct so same thing now we are going to write in the java code so first of all we need the limit value that means what is the maximum number value so we can say like int number equal to 100 correct now we have to go from what 1 to 100 so we are going to use here for loop here we have to start from int i as a 1 then i will be less than equal to number like what is the your input so here you can see i am using a static number as a hundred value you can use a scanner class and you can ask from the user input also and it will be increment order correct now what will be happen just use system dot out dot print ln and here try to print only i value okay so you can see either it is printing from one to hundred or not so just right click go to the run edge and click on java application now you can see right it is printing perfectly till 100 now what we need to do we need to use our if condition so using the if condition we can identify okay it is odd number or even number so we can say like if i is a modulus of 2 equal to 0 that means what is the input we are going to get if it is divided by 2 that means we are going to get remainder as a 0 then we are going to print the our statement so we can say like system dot print ln and here we are going to print just i value okay so now run so you can see right we are getting at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. All this is the range. Okay. This is the event number in the range from 1 to 100. Right. So you have to understand how it is working. So if you have any doubt what you can do, just try to put your breakpoint here. Now run as a debug mode. So first time, i value is a 1. Correct. If you are going to divide 1 by 2, what will be happen? You will not get remainder as a 0. Correct? So it will not go inside the line number 10. Correct? Now what will be happen? Once it will not satisfy this condition, then again it will go as a i++. plus plus. That means now i value is what? 2. Correct? So now 2 is going to divide by 2 only. So what will be happen? Remainder you will get as a 0. Correct? So now it is going to satisfy this condition. 
so if it will satisfy that means i value you are going to get as a what 2 correct so it will print in the console as a 2 correct so similarly you will get here i value now as a 3 then 4 if it's came 4 that means it will satisfy the condition and you can see in the console it is printing 4 so this is a way to print all the even number from 1 to 100